Hi everyone, it's Cindy Squirrel from Squirrel Mills Farms and Squirrel Mill Farm Guest Cabins. Today I'm outside, it's December 31st, 2020, the last day of 2020. Anyways, um, we had a few issues with um, one of the cabins after the last guest left that I noticed. So I'm gonna come out and I'm assessing the situation here. Here's our cabins. We rent three of them out. The one is a, a bathhouse, but the livery cabin had some issues with the door. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to assess how I'm going to adjust a door. So here's the livery cabin that we rent out. This is the only one that has a double bed for a couple. Well, so one of the issues was this piece of board here that uh, Bob had trimmed because of, of course the light switch was right in the way. But as you can see, it's not fastened on one end because there's only a riser there and I guess over here. So there is nothing to attach this board to. You can't put a nail in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use wood glue, but the only thing about wood glue is you gotta, I'm not gonna stand there like that for 25 minutes. So what I'm going to attempt today is I brought my little uh, hot glue gun. So I'm gonna put in this glue, the wood glue, and then I'm gonna give it a dab of the hot glue. And the hot glue won't last long, but it might hold it long enough for the other glue to bond. Let's see how that works. Just gonna fill this area with the glow. Okay, good thing there's paper towel out here. Get that all. Go. Now with the hot glue gun, I am just going to put one little dab of the hot glue behind there. And hopefully that will be enough. Make sure it's straight. Hold it for a sec. Oh, it's not gonna work. much torque on it. Oh, there, that one's working. There. And then when that dries, well, I might be able to take that off right now. Or I'll try that with, should be able to scrape it off with a knife or my talon. And I'll clean that up and hopefully that holds. Now the other issue with this cabin was when you open the door, it was catching right there and they're starting to pull that trim off. But if you close it and you just sort of pull on the doorknob, it does close. So it's out of adjustment somehow. So there's about four ways I could fix this. So I'll check here. Go all the way up and see if it's a tight seal all the way. Oh, look at that. You can see how it's not a tight seal there. So I can pull the top of that door over. And there's two ways of doing it or more. So take the pin out of here and when the pin's out, you just move, put on a pair of pliers, and just move the ones that are on the jam, not on the door, on the jam. Just move them. All you need is that much, right? You're not moving it an inch, you're just moving it a hair. And then when you put the pin back in, then the door's gonna be over farther up at the top. Another way to do it is 
you take the screws out, which means that I would have to cut the seal off, take the screws out, and put longer screws in. And then that will pull this part in more. The short screws only go into the door jam. They don't... I forgot this door don't close very good. There we go. They only go into the door jam. So if you put a long screw in, it's going to get the frame and then it will pull it over. Now, another way is if you had a wood plane. You could just open your door, take your wood plane, and from there to the top, you just plane off that hair amount so it doesn't catch anymore. So I am going to decide which route I'm gonna go here, and uh, I'll be back. So I decided, because it's just me here today, Bobby's at work. Um, I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to um, bend. So, you know, that might be pretty strong metal. Um, not sure if I'm strong enough to uh, draw the screw in to tighten it. So I, when I got my wood plane and I adjusted it, so it's just going to take just a sliver off. It might take a couple times and uh, might not do a good job. I noticed there's a couple little nicks in it. I adjusted it so it's just taken a little bit off at a time. If it was down there, it would be taking a big wad off, which I might not be able to do. I might not be strong enough for that. So I might have to do it two or three times, but I'm just gonna take a little bit off at a time. Let's see if I can do this. So you, it's not hard to see where it was rubbing. It's all black there. Now let's see. Oh, my plane's not very, not very sharp at all. And that's my fault because I store it like that, sitting on a surface. My mother would have a conniption if she knew I did that because it dulls the blade. But it is what it is. Sorry, Mom, not looking after my woodworking tools. Get back here, door. a little bit off. Nope, it's still gonna hit. I'll just keep doing it until it doesn't hit. And yes, I'm right-handed. I don't have any strength in my left hand, but oh well. Okay, I'll keep trying that and I'll be back. Okay, well I did it. I uh, had to switch to my right hand, which is a little bit stronger. You can see it took a few little pieces of wood. But you can see now it's closing. Have a little bit of an air draft there. I don't know if you can see the daylight outside right there. So I'll just put a little piece of silicone on there but let's see how the door closes. So that was the problem area that it was binding at. And now you can see, no it's not. I fix. Well, that seems to be holding too. I did turn the heat up in the cabinet. It was down to seven, which is what I set it at when nobody's in here. But I turned it up to 15 just to warm it up and maybe that glue might need to be warmer to set. But so far, so good. Been a good day. Door fixed, trim fixed. So this is Cindy Squirrel at Squirrel Mills Farms 
and Squirrel Mills Farms guest cabins. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Till next time.